Hi, I am Samit Boahin and this is Uncut, a video series where I share my unpopular opinions, my thoughts and my experiences in the advertising and marketing space and some aspects of my personal life. I am excited to invite you to join me here on my YouTube channel uh, as we go through a number of topics week per week. Let's go. Starting out, I grew up in, in a very average Ghanaian home. Um, I am the first child of my parents with four other siblings. Um, I moved around a bit. I used to, you know, I started my early life in Tamale, then moved to Kumase, then I moved to Accra um, for senior high education, which I continued to university. After studying um, communications in university, uh, majoring in public relations and minoring in advertising, I went on to do a couple of jobs, working as you know a copywriter, as a social media person, as a production assistant. You know, for everybody in Ghana, you have to do mandatory national service, which I did that also um, in the marketing communications department. Then I went on to work in agency, and now I co-run an agency myself, um, which is the InSync agency. So basically, that's who I am um, in terms of my professional life. Advertising and marketing wasn't something that I actually thought I would get into. Um, growing up, I've always been fascinated with the idea of telling stories and the idea of communicating. And so, you know, going into college, I felt like that would be a better thing to study, which, you know, moved me into PR because that was closer um, to the form of communication and to the, to the art form. And the more I did it, the more I realized that, you know, story writing at the core is what would sell and is what can push me. And so I sort of slow slided into advertising unconsciously and as I mentioned earlier, when I started doing copywriting, um, I slowly picked up other skills and sometimes skills are thrust upon you. So I was moved around a bit um, into account management, into video content, into digital management. And then I realized that, okay, this is a place that I can find my feet, which I slowly started doing by entering more into the strategy area by you know thinking up big ideas by thinking up you know this whole dream of how clients can do best and the clients can tell their story best so it was sort of like a trickly slow slide into who i am today in terms of you know doing advertising and marketing the journey for me has been rough and good um rough in the sense that there are periods where you have to spend nights um, to get a tax done, there are periods where you know it's, it's being like a pressure cooker uh, because there's there's the client who is asking you for things at a particular time. There's a boss that you have to report to. There's a team that you have to lead. But there are key moments that are very fantastic for me. Um, they are you know key highlights in my career. Uh, one of those key highlights would be when I produced um, one of Ghana's first virtual home housing fairs which was it was a lot of work um it was like a month of shooting you know an entire three day overnight spent of editing um with, with you know other animators and teams also but it was it was great and all these moments come together to show that nothing is perfect but you know there are bittersweet moments moments where i feel like I don't think this is for me anymore and there are moments where I've actually seen the ideas that I have come to life and so the experience has been you know bittersweet but so far so good. The best campaign I've ever worked on would, would be a tough question because there are a number of so from um, from an ATL point of view like above the line point of view I think there was a campaign that we did for um, are you insurance where it was sort of in my very first you know growing stages in agency life where I had to direct and coordinate um, a series of TVCs I think we shot like over five TVCs or so and a couple of radio ads for them where I was very much in the lead um, that was very exciting for me because it was my proper first time at producing such a large scale thing 
Um, in terms of digital, it would be the first National Bank Virtual Housing Fair, which was also great. Um, I had to, you know, supervise. I had to supervise two other production teams beside my production team um, to make it happen. In terms of strategy, I think there are some clients that I can't mention, but there are some, you know, big strategy documents that we worked on for a couple of insurance companies that for me were absolutely fantastic. They were beautiful body of works. Um, that, that's not out yet. And on ground, I would say the Boxer X Challenge. Um, it gave me the opportunity to move around, you know, the country a bit. Um, I was in there as primarily as a video person, but also sort of like as a semi coordinator to help run things also. So these have been like some of the projects that off the top of my head, I can say I genuinely enjoyed like working on. I missed all the challenges that I came with. So my passions vary. As a business person, I am focused on how best I can tell a story. And that also falls in line with, you know, as an advertiser and as a marketer, how best can I tell the story? Um, what's the best way that you can wow somebody? Obviously, I won't be the first person to tell, you know, a story, but it is, it is in the how. Um, I am very passionate about storytelling and passionate about visual stuff. So if we're, you know, working on even like a document or we're trying to build like a campaign, I'm always looking for a way to be visual about it. It doesn't necessarily have to be photography or artwork, but you know, the story has to be visual. So that's even how I build like a number of my strategies with the ideas and then I build backwards into how the framework would look like. I'm also passionate about, as a personal person, I'm quite passionate about animation. Um, I'm passionate about music. I'm passionate about, um, also back to business, I'm passionate about, you know, the relationships that we build, especially in the business field. I'm passionate about making sure that everybody in my team has, you know, as much resources or as much um, space to work, you know, to achieve their dreams, to achieve the collective dream, and to push us all. And lastly, I'm also passionate about pushing the brand out there. It shouldn't be just my brand, but the business brand also. Honestly, um, a, a number of the roles that I've had are no roles that I actually thought I would fall into. So when I started, you know, working in the advertising space, as I mentioned, from as you know way back um, doing copywriting to doing national service, um, doing comms and video work and store writing, stuff like that, and then getting into agency to come back to copywriting. I actually didn't think that I would be here today because the process sort of just happened. And one thing that I'm grateful for in my previous agency was how you were shifted around like very rapidly, right? It's not, I won't say it's bad, but responsibilities were just thrust on you at the moment because someone believed you could do it or there was nobody to do it at that time and you were the best fit to you know to manage it so from moving there it was it wasn't something i expected honestly i didn't expect to become managing partner even the conversation to become managing partner sort of just happened because we were like hey we're trying this thing out we want to set up this new thing and we want you to lead it and i was like okay why not because in the structure, as I mentioned earlier, you may be the best fit for it at the moment. And so far, I think I've been I've been doing my very best at being managing partner because it's your job is to manage and to make things happen. So it, it wasn't something I dreamt of becoming, but I'm I'm happy with where I am. It's very important to know how to tell a good story. Second, you should know how to detach your emotional decisions from your logical decisions. Um, <clears throat> that's difficult sometimes because I understand that you're pouring a lot of your emotions into the work that you're doing. But there are periods where you have to look at it logically, right? So people can come in, like there are moments where you write an entire script and it will be canceled for, you may not even understand the reason why, but those are business and logical decisions that you have to and secondly you have to understand that as much as you may know what is right the client also has a fair idea of what they want 
and there's this something that happens a lot in the creative space where we battle with clients to sort of show them that this is what we think you should do um, sometimes it's good to let the clients also have the chance to say that this is what I want sometimes it might not be good sometimes it might work but you should always try to not be possessive of the work because at the end of the day is the client's say and not your say so um, those are three key things that a marketer or advertiser should have or a creative as general should have the future is um, I would say exciting because as a team of young people we are always thinking we are always dynamic um, we're looking now right now we're looking at entering into more of owning our own properties um, in terms of content in terms of event in terms of ideas um, we're also looking out for you know networking and collaboration opportunities um, we're hoping that come you know the next year or the next couple of years we can have you know more clients that can help us be true to ourselves um, clients that you know we fully believe in with their vision with their aim with what they want to do and we also want yeah all of us to be richer than we are now because it's important um, but yes I'm hoping that in the next you know two or three years the steam the team is still around um, you know people are happier people have grown people have matured in their craft and I'm hoping that the name becomes a name that is spoken of with high value and in the very good places always. It's been great sharing my story with you. Um, I wish I had more time to go into detail and tell you about all the ups and downs of the advertising life and you know some amount of my business life but there's more things to be done and there's always little time to do the great things that you want to do. Uh, I'm happy to come back. I would be back um, for episode two. But so, but if you have any questions, um, any comments, any you know marketing concerns, you can call the number or you can send me an email. Um, it would be on the screen, or you can just let us know in the comment section below. Do not forget to hit subscribe and share with everybody that you know and more people that you don't know. And once again, thank you very much for watching this. If you stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in episode two. Peace.